Good morning, we're so happy that you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, we hope that you will come back tomorrow. We're all feeling a bit better today after our our little mental health day yesterday. And uh, it's, it's beautiful out, the sun is shining, the sky is blue, actually, What's the temperature? 40. Once Teddy's awake, we might have to get outside. He has been napping for almost three hours. And he is in like a leap, like a developmental moment. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if in the next few days he's acting more grown up even than usual. But Jamesy had a good speech therapy session today. I am making a little like red sauce that's just gonna cook away the day to have in the fridge to make flatbreads one of these nights this week. I don't know, like the day has just gone well. Like it's just like been a good day. We've been like snacking. We had hummus and chips. We had guac. We had like avocado toast and Irish soda bread. It's just been like, Everything's gone according to plan. Everyone's in good spirits. So we're gonna keep it that way. red sauce with onions, some pesto, a ton of garlic, basil, and then I did a can of diced tomatoes and then stirred it really good, got it bubbling. Wow, Evie. Um, a can of tomato paste and then I filled that can up three times, just like a little can, and poured three cans of that in added some parsley, salt, pepper, a little bit more garlic, and it's just been cooking and cooking and cooking. I am gonna put that on a flatbread, I think I said, maybe not even tonight, but I just wanted to have like good sauce that cooked and cooked and cooked for those flatbreads. And I'm in the like market for an emulsifier, like I feel like I could use that a lot because, I mean, to be honest, I like pulling out the blender or the food processor sometimes is like a big to do with like how little space we have. Obviously we're not gonna be here a while, but even just cleaning it, it's like, if you have an emulsifier that you like, please put it in the comments because I'm gonna be starting to look to buy one because I just feel like that would like up my cooking game. You do, <laughs> Amy, Amy, you do all that barking while you're just at <laughs> Amy. Can you help the dog? This little what? one is awake? Right. He just cannot uh, get enough of oh, Mr. Panda Head lately. You did it! Yeah, too. I got that Oh my gosh. Do we need a bigger size? We got the boys' little Irish cap. I think we need a bigger size. I think you got a big noggin, too. Here's Jamesy's. This is for you, baby. Jamesy, look at mama. Ah! Oh, you look cool. Let's see you, Jamesy. Oh, look at you go. Oh. They're so cute. They're both at ages where who knows if they'll wear them. But we're going to do our best. And James actually wore it like longer than I expected him to when I first put it on him, so I have hope. 2,000 years later. What the heck just happened? <laughs> so it's like I found this great thing on Facebook Market. It's not expensive, vintage, really nice quality. It's only like 10 seconds away. <laughs> Get in the car and it was like, because it was rush hour time and it technically was on the further west side of the city. It was a 45 minute drive over. Oi! To go like six miles. <laughs> to go six miles that way, and then it was like 30 minutes on the way back. Yeah. So we, we rewarded ourselves with impossible offers. You guys remember when we'd get these all the time? There were two for $7 here. That's still a great deal. Cheers. We also, we also got fries. Jamesy got chicken. Um, they were like, there's no fries. kids' chicken fries meals, and we were like, <laughs> Trick, don't care. We want chicken fries for the boy. You said you said normal person. 
Yeah. <laughs> 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 I felt like a yeah. not a child. <laughs> and we're starting to watch Eugene Love's show. Update. It was an impossible king, not an impossible whopper with with like all the fixings and stuff on it. Still good, but just not as like fancy pants as a whopper. Um, but that's probably why they realized that it was such a good value being on that like two for six or two for seven or whatever it is meal. Still good. What percent disappointed are you? Oh zero. Oh good. Cause I'm like twelve percent. Yeah. Don't mind if you do, Teddy. <laughs> Woo! We're gonna have to give a little update on how the packing is going, but I'm just hanging out with the boys. Sarah's putting away some laundry. Oh, Teddy. Oh, train. <gasps> train. Uh, ah. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. 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 Mama. Mama. Wow, this is. Wow, you did this. You have something to say too? Look at this. Wow. Did Sarah show the most perfect hat ever purchased today? The kids are asleep, but if she didn't show it, this is James's new hat. Yes for St. Patrick's Day. Teddy had one purchased as well, but his head, though not as comically large as mine on James's head, is still a big head. And the hat was too small, so we had to order a new one for him. Um, I wanna show you and talk to you about our strategy for moving. And then I think we're gonna go to bed. Oh gosh, she's been exhausted because she came with to get the little buffet that we purchased today. And I think that just did just to this little furry baby's heart in. So as we showed you on the vlog the other day, things are coming off of the walls, right? Packaging away. Certain things like bigger things, we're gonna wait until closer because they're just gonna get like wrapped very carefully and probably transported with us. Not by the moving company. Alrighty, Sarah from the future here. I just wanted to pop into the vlog to kind of elaborate what Peter said about our moving strategy. And that is for the first time we're actually having movers take our things for us. And so we're gonna pack everything up and then the day, like our moving day, they're gonna come in, take it, put it into a truck and then drive down to Florida like over the course of a couple of days or a few days. Um, and that's the first time we're ever doing that. That feels like a big step for us. We've moved a ton. Um, it just feels good to not have like that added stress of a big moving truck. Now, what Peter mentioned with taking some of our things ourselves some things are going to go in our minivan and then we're actually going to rent a u-haul trailer to pull with things like our mattresses and our bed frames and like peter mentioned like some of our more valuable items that we want to just like really keep like extra safe take extra care of like that doozy piece of artwork um and then that way we can guarantee that we have those things upon arrival because we're like the timing with the moving truck um like we probably I, I don't know how that'll be we just want to be certain that we have some of those things that we definitely want when we get there um and so yeah that's like our big um like plan and it's kind of like a good in between um yeah we're super we're we're super excited i think you'll see in this vlog like a lot of the big stuff we've taken care of we're kind of like dining room kitchen focused right now um but after that it's really like a lot of everyday stuff that we have to get a handle on like clothes and the boys toys and yeah it's it's we're getting there so just just want to give that little insight um back back to peter but this occurred Hoo -hoo. um so we've moved the table and down like made it smaller because it can, can consolidate. We've got like stacks of things that we're giving to friends, family, or free box. But I started packing the boxes that we have packed so far. Don't know if 
how many of you, empty walls, recall um, the vlog where we moved back to Chicago, but um, Grant, our brother-in-law, we flew him down to Florida to help us pack and then drive, help me drive the truck up with Eve while Sarah flew up with James. Um, we thought we were packed well before the day that Grant flew in, which was just like 12, it was more like 20 hours before we wanted to leave. Um, we had all these visions of grandeur, like going back to the apartment after picking him up, finishing up packing, loading up the truck, and going to Disney Springs that night. Um, well, if you guys remember, we were up until like something like three in the morning because we didn't even start packing the kitchen. We thought, oh, we'll just put toss everything in boxes. It'll be so simple. But like we had other stuff to pack in addition to the kitchen, and I just have like like vivid memories of like Grant just like clearing out rows of cups into just cardboard boxes and then like us just throwing appliances in the kitchen in cardboard boxes and then like go being like if we go to bed now we can get at least uh two and a half to three and a half hours of sleep before we have to bring sarah and james to the airport and then we can come back and finish and then sweep up and then hit the road well, i think because of all that um uh, it's been a big stress on mine since we really started packing to get the kitchen at least mostly packed and what I mean by mostly packed is we still have two weeks which crazy as it is we get to Orlando in two weeks from today we leave from two weeks from yesterday um, so we still need to cook dinner and cook breakfast and have lunches and snacks for two weeks for ourselves and our children so we can't pack everything away but look how much we do have packed empty that's full it's like baking stuff we're down to functional spoons and measuring things empty that down there mostly empty that was full of, of pots and pans empty this is empty this is using still bottles bowls plates those plates aren't coming with us so we actually are gonna go to primarily using our sugar boot plates in Florida those ones aren't gonna come with us this all packed away except for either things we're going to use or things I just haven't quite packed away yet, like Pilsner glasses and wine glasses. I'm not going to take a bath. I'm too tired. And it's too cold. You know? I just want to curl up in our bed. You want to go to Jewel and get a snack? Um, we have some stuff. We have Irish soda bread. We can have Irish soda before bed. <laughs> All right, so that is actually a lot of what is in these boxes, in addition to some of the stuff we bought for like the patio on President's Day sales. Um, our bedroom stuff is like off the wall. I've been like, so I think a good, I don't know if you, what do the young kids say, hack? A packing hack that I do, which I don't even know if it's a good hack or not, is like when I'm packing like kitchen stuff. If the box is getting heavy because it's like serving vessels and stuff like that you're not going to fill that box completely up with this fragile heavy stuff right so you want to use that box though so i would like wrap the fragile stuff with like shirts of mine yeah, that's or nice. sweatshirts right. of mine and then fill it up the rest of the way with said other additional shirts sweatshirts sweatpants stuff like that so then by the time you actually get to your room like my dress is already half empty the closet. Like, I still want to like purge some clothes. And okay. Stuff. Yeah. But I just like, I feel like it's so nice doing this gradually. But I mean, like, it is like taken that, like, we have to take it on every single day. Yeah. Remember what we did almost two hours today? Yeah. We did like that's four. Why I'm so tired. We did like four hours yesterday. I'm so tired. <laughs> uh, but we are a huge. Well, we didn't, we didn't get a lot of sleep last night. Yeah, we didn't get a lot of sleep last night. And we did do a, we are okay. like, <laughs> I think we are a good chunk in you know we still have a lot because we have a lot of stuff I'm sure. um but we're a good chunk in yeah are you ready to say it's good to be home or <laughs> <laughs> i think sarah's ready to say i'm just dragging this out to see how many more times i can get her to yawn mm. <sighs> <laughs> that was such a sweet sound it's good to be home it's good to be home good evening everyone um we're so happy that you are here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, we hope that you'll come back tomorrow. Check out this. 
I have Disney sing-alongs on YouTube for the boys and for myself. Um, when do we ever start the vlog at night? I'll tell you when. Our <laughs> packing situation, our house, it's just chaos. So, the boys are already bathed in jammies. Oh gosh. This weekend will be a little bit better because we have St. Patty's Day events going on. As far as the vlog goes, <laughs> Teddy's really found his voice today. What? What do you got? How big is Teddy? So big! So big! <laughs> Latest trick. Um, but until we move, we're basically just gonna do the best we can with the vlog. Um, so this is a two-parter, and we really didn't vlog today. We had a full day, like Peter was, like, did not have many breaks in his day. Whatsoever. Um, I had therapy, I made dinner. Um, I got some vegan donuts from Whole Foods when I went to return some stuff from Amazon. Um, and yeah, Peter's going to pick up some boxes from someone in our community who have a part of a page where it's like free, free stuff, giving away free boxes. So we need it. Really? What else? Oh no, he's quiet. Oh no, he's quiet. What? Oh, you got this. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. 